Okay, so here is the um, <clears throat> the NMR one H NMR spectra <coughs> of C seven H fourteen O two. Okay, so uh, the first thing we do, as usual, is look at the carbon to hydrogen ratio and CNH two N here. Um, so that means it does contain a, a double bond, and as as I say, it is uh, almost certainly a carbon-oxygen double bond, not a carbon-carbon double bond, because the spectra is too difficult to interpret. So we have to try and work out what this structure is, and it, it looks for the number of hydrogens there. You can see that there's not that many peaks, really. Um, here we've got this peak here with an integrated value of nine yeah and so you've got nine hydrogens in the same um environments as each other uh, that means it's almost certainly three methyl groups which are attached to the same carbon so if this shows us almost uh, we've we have probably got this group there. Um, and right, so what else we've got? We've got um, a this integrated value of two. Um, that is probably a CH2 group. And from the PPM value, which is about two, it is probably next to a carbonyl group. Okay, um, this one with an integrated value of three, this one here, um, well, this is gonna be a CH3, is probably not next to, um, it's probably not next to a carbonyl because it's got a PPM of four, um, and so it is probably next to an oxygen. Okay, so all we really have to do is now is just stitch all those three little bits together, and I think that will be the um, that will be the spec that will be the correct structure. So um, we've got our CH three CH three CH two, and then. We have got that's next to a carbonyl, and then we've got this green bit here. So that is, we've got an ester linkage in there. Uh, and <clears throat> that is almost certainly what you've got there. There is uh, just one little thing to be aware of. Um, um, that is the correct structure. One, another structure which would almost be correct. Um, you might be forgiven for thinking um, CH3. Okay, all we're going to do is just reverse that ester group, turn it the other way around. Um, that looks almost right. Um, the only reason you could tell, so that that would give you, you know, singlets. So singlet would give you um, um, this one integrated three, this one integrated two, and these ones integrated nine. Um, but what would be wrong about this spectra is that would have a PPM of about four, not the two that it has there. And this one here, because it's next to a carbonyl, it would have, that would have a PPM of about two, not a four, which it is, um, you can see it is there. So um, that, um, uh, is, a, is another one. 